Today I want to talk to you about the so-called servant songs in the book of Isaiah. And you know, when you get to chapter 49, verse 5, you see there's a contrast there between the servant and Jacob. Now, when, when, when we're talking about Jacob, we're talking about the, the Am Yisrael. Uh, they're sometimes called Jacob. And uh, here you see that just as in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 8, Kini Xarbe Eretz Hayimi Pesha Ami, you have the contrast between the servant and Israel. They are not one and the same. Amen. There is an individual who is the servant. And in chapter 49, uh, verse 5, And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Do you see that? There's the servant. And then there's Jacob. And the word betin is used there, the womb. And there are other places where that uh, important word is found in Isaiah. Uh, and, and even in one point he says uh, that Jacob uh, is, uh, they are transgressors from the womb. But you don't get that, the idea that the, the, this servant, the Ben Dovid, Mashiach, Goel, you don't get the idea that he has any problem at all in that regard. Because in Isaiah 53, it says, even, there, even though th- uh, there was no, uh, in, his, in his mouth, uh, it says, he was taken from prison and from judgment. Uh, and who, who could declare his generation? For he was cut out of, out of the land of the cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Then it says, and he made his kever with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence, no Hamas, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Hallelujah! So this servant is a holy servant. He's called the Holy One of Israel uh, at, at certain points in Isaiah. And so the point I'm trying to make here is that, that this servant is going to be the savior of Israel. And, and he's going to make a, an Asham guilt offering with his, with his nephesh. And, that, and the ransom will be paid. Uh, and you know what? Uh, this, this is um, my dissertation. Notice the name. Messianic Judaism. Notice when it was written. Seven years after the Six Day uh, War. I was writing this in Pasadena, California. And, and one of the things I was puzzling over at the time was the question of the blood smeared on the door at Pesach. What was it? Was it expiatory? That is, is the theology of blood atonement at the center of the matter? Was it apotropaic? Uh, and that is, was the blood functioning as a repellent of evil? Well, you know what? I could have put put this uh, thing down and just open my Bible and saw it right there. I think it's Mark chapter 10, verse 45, where Mashiach himself tells you that the Ben Adam, the, the Bar Enosh, uh, the one, you know, that Daniel speaks about coming in the clouds of glory, it says he has to make a ransom, a ransom for many, a ransom for many. And you know yourself that when you've been kidnapped and buried alive and they put a, 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 an air tube down there for you to breathe, the ransom note has to go out. Unless that ransom is paid, you will not get out. And it does say in 1 T- Timothy chapter 5 that there are some who are dead even while they're living. In other words, they're, they're as good as buried alive. They're dead. Uh, dead in trespasses and sins. They haven't had the he had shoot the, the regeneration. And, and, and so, you see, uh, they have to have a ransom. You can't get out of Egypt unless you're ransomed from slavery, friend. You have to be ransomed from your unregenerate uh, condition. And, and that's what the blood is on the doorpost. It's a ransom. Unless the lamb dies and his blood pays the ransom, you will never get out. You will never get out. And there are people listening to me right now. You're enslaved to drugs. You're enslaved to pornography. You're enslaved to legalism and false religion. Uh, you're, you're enslaved to a heavy bondage of, of false uh, 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 scripture. Uh, and maybe you're even in a cult. 
Well, listen, friend, you might even be uh, waiting for some old moldering rabbi in old Montefiore Cemetery to, to rise from the dead. I don't know what, what kind of uh, bondage you're under, friend, but I'm telling you that what I'm speaking about, this servant who's going to redeem Jacob, this, this, uh, this is your only hope. This, this is the ransom that has to be paid. The Tanakh is a ransom note. And you have to understand that. Can you say amen? amen. 